So I actually have several packages to unbox, but first I'm doing this one on its own because this is a pass around knife. Uh, I got this from Dirty D, who is the US distributor for Mexican knife maker Black Battle Song. Uh, and so what I have here is the Black Battle Song. Oopsies, on this side. Reaper V2. Oh, let's see. So, first things first, we have a QC card, number 10 V2 Channel Reaper, pink anno bronze flat. Adjust my microphone. Handle material grid five tie. Date of manufacturing August twenty second. Um, and here we go. I also have here my V one, my personal V one channel reaper. It's got this gorgeous toxic anno, and uh, my biggest complaint about it is that the handle texture is kind of rough on my my dainty hands. So here we have the V two channel reaper and the biggest things uh you can see compared to these two are that the handle texture is like this sort of wavy pattern instead of this like um slash pattern and the blade profile is different i will say i like the blade profile of the v1 more um the v1 has this sort of indent here um this is sort of like this unique tanto. And this one is like the sort of like rock texture. Um, the V2, this is an incredibly clean tanto. M390 steel, it says here. Um, Black Balasan with their signature bite indicator horn. The texture on this, well, let's see. It still has the similar pivots and uh, What's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, Zen pin screws. Sounds good. It's got this ring. Let's compare. This is an E, and this is a D. All right. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's like a E flat-ish. Let's see, it's a little bit more play than I expect. Yeah, there's a lot more play. Now that's fine, because I am I got this from Buffalo Dingus, who had it before me. Let me see if I can... Oh, this, this one handle's got a lot of play on it, and that's a little shocking. So, sorry, let me try and just get this all tightened up. Because, uh, you know, I want to be able to give this a proper examination, and huh, that's a little shocking. Because unlike the stitch, which I had recently, um, you know, you don't break this down very often. So, it's a little annoying that this is a weird amount of play that I can't seem to get out right now, at least on cursory attempt. Um, I'll try more at some point. Anyways, the texture is, it's different. It's nice, but it's not as groundbreaking as I expected like the v1 I would say like if you had a v3.5 squid trainer which went from washers to bushings that's like oh that's a big deal the v1 channel reaper to the v2 channel reaper it's mostly a textural thing as well as the blades the blades I honestly prefer the v1 blade over uh and the, the let's see let's compare the jimping the jimping, honestly, it's the same. It's very nice, don't get me wrong. And the texturing is is like a lot more in depth. Like these, these diagonal grooves are like relatively shallow, but it is titanium, so it is grippy. It's just a little coarse on my hand. But after like having the, um, the OSP matrix, that one's even more rough. This one, it's like these grooves like a combination actually there's actually this really cool texture this texture here it's you have like this wavy pattern but then on like the chamfers is actually this diagonal so yeah that matches the v1 in terms of this sort of diagonal groove it's hard to see the camera there it is it's showing up that's really nice actually the face milling is oh it looks similar it is just the same knife but a new version 
I don't necessarily know if it is better, but I like this knife. I think the V1 Reaper is very nice. The V2 Reaper is actually quite comfortable in the hand. It's It took a little getting used to. Clips nicely, a little handle bias. Seems to add about the tolerances. I mean, that's, that's just a pass around for you, you know? I'm not holding that against Black Battle Song. Uh, also, um, I'm gonna put this video up real soon, and uh, Black Battle Song currently has this incredible buy two get one free. Has this incredible buy two get one free deal. Um, I have already paid for a V2 Damascus Sholo, and so if you are interested in getting in on this, I just let me know, because um, you can. Uh, he says he's willing to split, and it would be a really nice deal to be able to split the cheapest knife off and then everyone splits the discount but yeah this is a nice knife and if you're interested in this i think it retails for like 395 wow it rings beautifully ouch damn it yeah, my Reaper is not sharp. This one is, though. Whoopsies. Anyways. Um, the... Honestly, I don't really know what I have to say about the V2 Reaper that I haven't already said about the V1. Mostly, it's just that the blade is a more traditional Tanto, albeit it has, like, some curves to it like the cutting edge is it straight no it's a little a little convex outward and it kind of curls in towards the point whereas this one is a more traditional tanto shape however you have like this edge cut out here and uh a cut and like a hollow grind here so i don't know if that's quite a hollow grind it sort of oh interestingly the V1 is S35VN, and the V2 is M390 steel. Oh. Yeah, I gotta stop this video. Uh, too much blood. So, anyways, if you like this video, I plan on doing a more in-depth review of the Channel V2 Reaper. And uh, I'm going to have more specs and whatnot. Sorry, unfortunately, this video gets cut short because I donked up. Anyways, have a good one and happy flipping. Sorry, unfortunately, I have to just end this video a little short.